Hey everyone, Jeff here from Films at Home, and honestly, it's kind of a miracle that this 4K release even exists. Hey everyone, so thanks for coming back to the channel today for this review. Today we're taking a look at Martin on 4K UHD here in a beautiful box set from Second Sight Films over in the UK. I'll talk about the movie briefly and then we'll get into the video quality, the audio quality. We'll do a full extensive unboxing for you so you know everything that's in the package. We'll talk special features and I'll give you guys a recommendation on whether or not this one is worth picking up for your collection. So as I mentioned in the opening, Martin is a movie on 4K that it, it really, it probably shouldn't exist. It had so many issues over the years coming to different formats and there were like rights issues and it's a low budget vampire movie made by George Romero right after Night of the Living Dead like this was his vampire movie after he made his zombie movie and there's a really interesting history on this film and I think either there's even new stuff being found that Second Sight did not get the rights to that is still floating around out there regarding this movie so it's a very interesting piece of film history I will say like is this the greatest movie ever made? No. Like, you're going to have a fun time, though, if you like Night of the Living Dead. If you like George Romero, this is his vampire movie. It's very unique. He's obviously known for his zombie movies, but this is his vampire movie, and it's a cool take. Now, on 4K, this is a brand new restoration supervised by the team at Second Sight with the original director of photography, whose name escapes me, but I'm going to look it up, Michael Gornick. So, supervised and approved by him. Now it's a 16 millimeter source, so you don't have quite as much data and uh, as much to work with as a 35 millimeter when it comes to the 4K format. Other 16 millimeter films on 4K, stuff like Dog Soldiers, um, uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So you'll often see like the Blu-ray and 4K are very close because 16 millimeter sort of tops out somewhere between 2K and 4K resolution, but given that we never had a really official great release of martin this looks fantastic on 4k it is clearly done with love and care by the director of photography supervised by him the transfer looks incredible for a 16 millimeter film this is as good as you could probably pull out of that considering whatever source material they had i mean it's a really extensive restoration effort i have to imagine that went into this and it just looks fantastic and it's just such a treat to have this movie in the highest possible quality a movie that for so many years has just been kicking around on different you know unlicensed or you know i don't even know if these were supervised dvd releases it's just been kind of floating around out there and the team at second sight just said enough is enough we're going to restore this thing completely and get it out in a high quality format and you know what if you're a fan of this movie you won't be disappointed if you've never seen it before i think you'll be surprised at how sharp 16 millimeter can look it's not going to win any awards for you know best looking picture but it should win some awards for maybe best restoration effort and best remastering because this looks excellent now the audio on this your primary track is going to be a dts hd mono track which is pretty standard for this movie it would have been done with a, a mono track originally so that's very faithful there is a 5.1 and a 2.0 i wouldn't really i don't know you could mess with either of those if you wanted to but i'm going dts hd mono here it gives you the best overall experience and the most authentic experience for me i thought it was solid i didn't have any issues mono tracks can sometimes be tricky with dialogue didn't have that issue here thought it sounded pretty good obviously they went back and took some care with doing that audio right and uh you know it's a good experience there's not much to say on a mono track right everything kind of just is it's very front heavy decent music here decent dialogue not a whole lot in the way of like sound effects there's obviously no surround happening so it's a very basic simple track but it's effective and it does its job well and that's all we can ask for for this release now let's dive into the packaging first of all great artwork on the front right all the way around nice spine great artwork on the back very minimalist hard rigid slip case um, you know if you have arrow video slip cases it's it's very similar to that opening it up you get a little fold out here this is martin in all of its glory let me just spin these the right way so what they give you is they give you a 4k disc a blu-ray disc and a cd so the blu-ray disc is most likely region 
So the 4K disc is region free, so you won't have any issues there. Um, the Blu-ray disc is most likely region B. That's how it's marketed anyway. You'd have to test it on your player to see if it works. Um, and then the CD is actually the original soundtrack. So you get that as well, nice added bonus. And then as you keep going through, you get some art cards here, some different like lobby cards, which are nice. Always cool to have if you love the movie. And then this awesome booklet. So this booklet is 102 pages long and it has interviews, it has essays, it has, you know, some of the artwork over the years because it's been kind of crazy, this release and, you know, what's gone on with it. So there's some artwork, but, you know, it's just a, a comprehensive release with um, one, two, three, four, five, six, like a dozen essays, 10 essays, um, all talking about this movie and interviews with people and different perspectives from film scholars and uh, film historians and, you know, it's in Romero historians and biographers. It's just a very, very cool release. And of course, all that is just what you get inside the package. We haven't even talked special features yet. So the special features, there's an audio commentary with George Romero and Tom Savini. There's another commentary with George Romero and Richard Rubenstein, Tom Savini, Michael Gornick, and Donald uh, Rubenstein. There's a new audio commentary by Kat Ellinger, a new audio commentary by Travis Crawford. There's a new feature-length documentary with a location tour called Taste the Blood of Martin. There's a new interview with the composer, Donald Rubenstein, who's also on those commentary tracks. There's an, a short film by Tony Buba called J. Roy New and Used Furniture. There's a Making Martin a Recounting featurette. And then there's the theatrical trailer. And then the TV and radio spots. So you've got four commentaries to choose from. A brand new feature length documentary. And then of course on the inside like I said. You get the rigid slipcase with that classic artwork. You get a soft cover book with tons of essays. Original CD soundtrack. Art cards. I mean what else could you want for a movie like this like this is a movie that literally didn't exist in a solid hd format and now boom we get this we get this just incredible release like second sight huge props to them huge huge props to them for what they did with this movie they saved this movie from obscurity they brought it for a new generation they restored it they meticulously remastered it they went back hdr made it look right made it look like a, a brand new film for many people the essays everything that went into this you get a cd you get a blu-ray you get a 4k i mean what more could you ask for it's a it's an absolute must own for the horror movie fans out there so if you do want to pick this up you can get it from second sight you're gonna to have to ship it over from the uk if you buy it from them direct and i don't know if they're shipping to america anymore i've heard different things about that you can try buying it on Amazon UK, but I think your best bet would be to check out a place like Diabolic DVD or Orbit DVD, both of whom will have this in stock from time to time, and you can order from them. They get it shipped over from the UK, and then they ship it to you. And yeah, you might pay a little bit extra on top, but that's the service they provide, and they're both great companies who have been great to work with and who I've ordered many times you know, over the years and never had an issue. So I can recommend them both, and I'll put their links in the description. I don't get any kickback for that. I just want to support a couple of uh, small businesses who do a great job getting these uh, boutique horror movie releases out to the masses. But I highly recommend Martin for the horror movie fan out there. If you're a Romero fan, if you want to dive in, if you like vampire movies, if you just like old classic horror movies, there is no finer example of a, a, a horror movie box set than this. This stands right up there with the best that Shout Factory or Arrow Video or Criterion have ever done. In fact, it probably leaps over a lot of those. It's an amazing release by Second Sight who continues to impress me all the time with their work and I highly, highly recommend you guys at least check this out and give it a try. I know it's expensive, so maybe watch the movie first somewhere on a digital platform, stream it, but if you love it, this is the version to buy and it's worth every penny. So thanks for watching this review. If you want to make sure you never miss a video like this, hit that subscribe button. Also like the video and turn your notifications on so you know when new videos go live. Find me on the Films at Home podcast every week. I've got new interviews and new commentaries and all kinds of collection and physical media topics over there. I'm on all your audio platforms and right here on YouTube. And of course, follow me on social media. That's where you can get in touch with me the easiest and send me DMs or ask questions. And I'm always posting over there as well. So thank you for your support. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy out there, and I will talk to you all soon.